amidst radioactive environment, in the eternal dark of the underground, at unattainable altitudes. Kazakhstan's vast lands attract researchers and explorers from all over the world, and our filming crew are no exception. I greet you, my friends. I say this day should be remembered to us like no other, because today we become more engaged in occupation gaining popularity all over the world. Bird watching is a hobby associated with science. This is a vocation for which you'll need a dog-like scent and an eagle eye. Now we need to get to the village of Kogaljin. There is a bird in its vicinity which attracts and admires naturalists more than the Monet paintings do so with the Impressionists. And this is not a pink flamingo as you might think. What is the secret of such an attraction? This is the world population of this species which is on the verge of extinction. And that's interesting. International flights deliver tourists to Kazakhstan because here the flight of this redwood bird happens. It's got the name of the sociable lapwing. We certainly won't be able to find the sociable lapwing ourselves. I guess we won't recognize it even if we run into each other. Therefore, we joined our friends, ornithologists. They will act as guides and mentors in our search, having their experience and special instruments, telescopes, binoculars and cameras. Our task for today is to see the birds, capture them on cameras and show to you. This is hunting, so to say, but birds will stay alive. Ruslan Urazaliev and Alexander Putilin are employees of the Association for the Conservation of Biodiversity of Kazakhstan. These young people belong to those for whom a hobby once turned into a profession. In their youth, they studied birds in ornithological clubs, and now they have been working in the international team of the scientific and environmental social lapwing project for about 10 years. Suddenly, the scientist's vehicle stops. Ornithologists, armed with field glasses, peer as far as if commanders to reconnaissance. It might be it. We get off the road into the step. Ruslan, tell me why. Ruslan, why did we stop here? What are we going to find? Now it is the time when social lapwings gather in groups. It is a molting period. They change their feathering to winter one. During this period, mainly males that do not participate in reproduction gather in relatively large groups starting from a few dozen to hundreds of individuals in the group. Usually they spend the first half of the day feeding, trying to find appropriate places. On such black sand, I mean on the black ground, insects are very clearly visible. They become noticeable for birds. Unfortunately, there were no sociable lapwings here. Bad luck. If you scrutinize the shots on the screen just as we peer at the canvas of the boundless step in the hope of seeing the sociable lapwing, you should know its signs. This bird is slightly larger than a dove. It weighs only 180 to 200 grams. Its grey-brown color well camouflages on the ground. But people say that in the sky it is easy to see from afar thanks to black and white wings. It is possible, but haven't happened yet. We'll have another stop. What are we trying to see here? In search of the sociable or black-sided lapwing, of course a large area was covered. We've traveled through almost all its favorable places and didn't see the bird so far. And now we are at one of the many spills which appeared a lot in the region this year because of the large waters. But here there are its relatives. They also refer to waders, but to those ones who are fonder of wetlands. At the same time, we can see big goblets. These are the largest waders, having very long beaks and legs. So there is a huge variety of waders. How to explain such a vinaigrette? This shallow water attracts waders. Everything depends on food. These birds are hooked to these profitable places. 
such shallow water warms up very well. Accordingly, there are a lot of living creatures. Insects, worms, mollusks, everything can be the food. It goes for future use before a long flight because such a diversity of fauna in our region does not last for a long time. The winter is close. From the whole variety of birds living here, who migrates to the most far? If the bird mail works, where to the letters could have been sent? Kazakhstan is such a country transit for many birds. We are almost in the middle of the continent. Three major migratory routes of birds pass through us. In seasonal migration periods, a huge number of birds, both in terms of species and in terms of quantity, fly over here. Well, for example, small stone plovers cover long distances. There were the confirmations already. The birds were tagged by satellite transmitters by our colleagues in Oman, where the birds wintered and they fly through Kazakhstan having a stop in the Caspian in the spring and fly further to Taimir. The Kogaljin Reserve, which is located in the immediate vicinity of the place where we are now, is one of the richest in birds. In total, there are about 300 species of them here. The most popular for tourists are the flamingos, of course. From April to September, they stand in large groups on the Lake Tengiz. Huge colonies of common sand martins, the smallest representatives of Hirondini Dyer family, fly to visit us. But this species is exotic only for Australians and the inhabitants of Antarctica, where these birds simply do not exist. What is the value of our sociable lapwing among all this variety? Well, except the fact that it came down to us from heaven. The sociable lapwing is a typical representative of the steppe ornithofauna. More than 95% of its world population nests in Kazakhstan. First, our territory is very important for this bird, and this bird is one of the key species of our Kazakhstani fauna. It is impossible to say that it is not important somehow. Tell us why it has settled here in Kazakhstan, why it assumes Kazakhstan to be its motherland. Because this is a steppe wader, and the steps in good condition have been left only here in Kazakhstan. Plus, this bird chooses the places with high pasture load for living. In Kazakhstan, the livestock farming is very well developed. In Soviet times, there were a large number of cattle on our territory. However, the growing number of cattle unfortunately does not have a positive effect on lapwing's population. How many birds of this kind are there now? According to our last estimations, the world population of these birds accounts for 11,200 individuals. Not the pairs, but individuals. In such living conditions, social lapwing's conspiracy which we faced is not surprising. Who might know all the passwords? An expert does the investigation. Hello there. Salam alaikum. How is this situation? There was a small colony here. It brought out chicks in fur way. Timur Iskakov is the resident of the village of Kogaljin and at the same time the field assistant of the sociable lapwing project. This is a very interesting world of birds and animals. Each bird has its own character. This one is edgy, and that one is calm, fascinating. Being of the old-timers of the project, Timur Iskakov is convinced that there is no more sociable and open bird than the lapwing. Having found an approach to it, you may even tap dance nearby. This bird is not afraid of humans. You can drive to it by car at a distance of 3 to 5 meters. Apparently, it disappears due to the fact that she is a trusting bird. It trusts people, trusts everyone. It is a very beautiful bird, having sort of a hat. This is a purely step, purely Asian bird that loves the heat, loves those sheep fescue fields, so that there is no tall grass. Where is its habitat now? Now it is holding up to Arik T. There are about 100 individuals there. Where? In the pastures? Near the lake where it usually stays before the molting period. Not too many of them. This year in general, there are very few due to weather or dampness. I don't know. Well, then we'll go that way.
Pull over, pull over, there is something ahead that looks like them. I'll check it out from the car. Yes, yes, they are there. These are our birds. Then we must go out and look around. Yep, this is our bird. Quite a big group. We'll necessarily count all of them. Well, is it them? Yes, that's what we've been looking for. Can I have a look? Yeah, sure. Here, take the spyglass to see better. Light-colored, slim birds. They are not the most beautiful birds I've ever seen, but taking into account the time we spend on our search, they are precious. It is true. Is this their only coloration? Of course not. There are in the wedding plumage in spring. Males are much brighter, not blue-green, of course, just of the same scent color, but having a contrasting plumage. Black breast, hat, the line across the eyes are very bright. Sociable lapwings nest mostly close to some villages where the grass is not so tall. They usually create nests in the natural groves, sometimes even in the print of the hoof of a cow or a horse. They bring small wormwood there, thus the nest merges with the natural vegetation and is practically invisible for an eye. So who endangers them here? We have set up the photo traps to check who reaches their nests and eats their rags. So we've managed to capture a fox and even an eared hedgehog. Now we see 149 individuals in front of us. It's not the biggest gathering of these birds. In 2015, on the 31st of July, here there were 1,500 of them. Where do they spend their nights? How their day passes? They spend the night in the steppe. They feed in the morning. In the afternoon, they fly to the water to drink and bathe. When it's hot, they usually bathe. Plus, the water gives coolness, so the birds spend the hot time of the day near the water. In the evening, they feed actively and fly away back to the steppe. They leave the territory of Kazakhstan between the end of August and till the mid of September. They migrate in large groups consisting of several hundreds or even thousands of birds. We have noticed that the number of birds who uses the western way of migration through the Middle Eastern countries reduces. The bird decides on its own where to move forward. These once again are only our guesses, which are not confirmed yet. Unfortunately, the method of satellite marking of birds itself is very expensive. If we had an opportunity to mark more birds, we would be able to uncover some more facts about them. Like one bird has flown to Sudan, another one to India, but we do not have such data. In 2007, ornithologists have witnessed an unprecedented event in the study of sociable lapwings. First, Kazakhstani scientists marked one of them with a satellite transmitter, and a few months later they learned about their bird from Turkish colleagues who found it in a huge flock that had not been seen for the last 100 years. In order to warm up under the Turkish sun, the bird had to fly almost 6,000 kilometers. Now the lapwings are also going to distant countries. We we'll wish them a good journey. The main thing is that, as before, they will remain loyal to their motherland and always return home.